Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to share how I pack for my vacation. So some of you might know I really love to travel and I generally try to put everything in my carry-on bag because that way I don't have to wait for it, I don't have to worry about getting lost, I don't have to worry about finding a place to put a big luggage and sometimes it's just easier to store a smaller luggage even at a train station when you're in between your stays. Something that I really like to do when I travel is go to multiple areas. As much as I like staying in one area because then that gives you kind of a more relaxed feeling, I also don't I also want to get a good use of my time. So even though I'm going to be gone for about 2 weeks this time, we're going to hit up I think four places, maybe five places. So it's it's a quick pace and it, there's not really much time in each location to do your laundry. On top of that, I also really like to take photos at these new locations, either with architecture, food, or just anything. And I generally don't want to wear the same things in every photo. And so <laughs> you have to be kind of creative. And so in this video, I I'm hoping to cover how I pack for about two weeks, but still in a carry on luggage. So one of the first things I do is actually make a spreadsheet that looks like this. And it looks really crazy and small, but basically it outlines it outlines where I'm going to go and where, what day it is. I generally also try to put the weather in there. Luckily for most of the places I'm going to, the weather is about the same so that a lot of the items that I wear with one, I can also wear with another. And then I plan, you know, what top I'm going to wear, what bottom I'm going to wear. And I generally look at places that have specific dress codes and then go from there and then see how I can reuse the top, reuse the bottom. So. In this particular trip, I have I have five bottoms and then I have six tops. So I kind of mix and match all of them so that they're, every day is going to be a different combination. I also try to bring items that are packable and items that generally have, it's, they're easier to wash and dry if I needed to do that. And for the most part, they don't need to be washed and dried if I'm aware <laughs> and I'm not like rolling in the dirt. But I also wear camis or tank tops underneath so that if I do sweat or, you know, any of that stuff, I can change out the bottom shirt and then the top one would still be okay. I've also noticed that despite what you have on, majority of the time of your outfits, what you, what you see and what you notice are your tops and what is shown, shown. So for example, even though I wear a t-shirt, I can wear a jacket on top of it and I'm not gonna see the same t-shirt. Or if I wear black jeans every other day, you're not gonna really see that it's the same black pair of jeans. However, if I brought something really bright and colorful, very unique, then you'll notice. So you kind of have to work with that. And then you also have to think about all of the color schemes. So things that would work together and some that, you know, maybe won't go with this color. So I generally pick things that could go with multiple colors. So I'm going to start inserting photos as I go. Um, they were taken from a different day, so if the lighting might look a little different. But generally how I do it is... Generally how I do it is just try to pair different tops and bottoms together. I also forgot to mention shoes. I try to have shoes that are more versatile. So I have a pair of nude flats that can go either more casual or more dressy. I have a pair of sneakers which could be more athleisure or you can actually hike in them. And then I have a pair of jelly kind of flats where you could wear it out somewhere, you know, just to slip on. But it can also look nice because I bought it in the goldish color and I can also use it as shower flip-flops if if you know I want, I'm getting out of the shower and I don't want to touch the ground because it looks questionable or something that would be a great one because it dries very quickly and it's, if I have a pool or somewhere where I'm going to swim that's also one to bring with me so in this trip I only have three pairs of shoes and those actually take a lot of space and a lot of weight so being able to have limited amount of shoes would be great. Also, I plan on shopping. I love shopping <laughs> and I have a feeling I might get something. So I want to bring a slightly less 
but still managing in case I don't buy anything so that if I bought something I have space for it and I could use it right away. All right, so starting with my bottoms, I have this pair of Sweaty Betty leggings, which I'm gonna wear on the plane. I'm gonna team it with this very cozy waffle knit long sleeve top on the plane. And I am also going to be wearing this as well. This is going to be a jacket from North Face that is waterproof. And then I'm gonna wear these shoes, which are my Nike, sneakers they're super comfortable and then i'll be wearing this on the plane which is my herschel backpack and that would fit a lot of stuff i am also excuse the mess <laughs> um, bringing a suitcase on board with me this suitcase is um going to fit everything but it can also be something that i could check as well if needed so other things i'm gonna wear this pair of leggings with are something like this which is a plaid shirt and this one's by rails it looks very fall like but it would go it covers my bum so that'd be really nice and i believe another thing that i was going to wear maybe with that is a t i could i could wear it with this t-shirt another thing i'm bringing are these blue jeans you can't go wrong with blue jeans blue jeans can go as well with this plaid shirt it can also go really well with something like this blouse this chiffon blouse that has these fluffy bell sleeves but it also could go with this as you can see and then I have a pair of black J brand jeans and again that can go well with any of the ones I've shown and I can also I also have a sweater here this sweater can be worn off the shoulder one shoulder or on both shoulders it has a really cool feature this one's from j crew it has a really cool feature which is this thing right here if i can pull it out there you go you can attach this to your bra strap and then it won't fall off if you don't want it to and lastly i have this pair of tan trousers which is a little bit more dressed up and i would definitely not be able to wear white sneakers with it and instead i'd wear these tan flats these are by everlane they're super comfortable so i have no problems wearing this during the day or anywhere I walk. I've also sprayed it with a waterproof spray so that it'll be much better. I've also sprayed this one with waterproof spray, but I don't think it'll work as well just because of how perforated it looks. While I'm here, I guess I'll show you the last pair of shoes I was mentioning, and it's these Jelly Flats. This is by Melissa Campbell, or sorry, Melissa Campana, and they are these kind of rose gold looking things and you know they're they're actually quite comfortable for what they are and honestly I've worn them a few times now on different trips and they're really good when it pours because you just draw off your feet and they're good. Another thing I wanted to show you while I'm here is this. This is my C by Chloe bag. I think it's called the Mini Collins. It has a crossbody strap that attaches here but I put it inside so this will be great for you know just bar hopping around the city this one's more dressy this could be like a nighttime thing this is a bag by i think it's pronounced jaeger i think it's a british brand and yeah it has this chain again on the inside a back slip pocket that fits my phone so the chain i've i fixed it so that it could be removable but i can also wear it with the crossbody strap which is really nice and it's very secure so the crossbody strap i will also be bringing a shorter a chain strap that could hook onto these things and then I could have a shoulder bag so these are actually my three bags right here I plan on buying some maybe some when I'm traveling so I'm trying to pack really light but still have a variety in case I don't buy anything um okay this is my last pair of bottoms this is a dress I mainly brought it for more dressy occasions like if I went to tea time or anything so this would be it and then I could team it up with something a little bit more dressy on top which is this this is an uh, cami NYC black silk top and I have this here and it could also go with let's see this skirt oh I didn't count this as a skirt because it's so thin but if I were to go to anywhere more party like this is, I don't know if you can see, this is more kind of like a black silk, not black silk, but you know, silk-like materials. So that would go well with this one too. If tucked in, it looks like a one-piece 
And then I have a jacket here. This is a blazer in, by Zara. It's the shrunken one. And it has this optional collar, which I can dress up or down. So without it, it looks less dressing. But with it, it looks more dressed up. And so I can again wear this with my skirt if I want it to. I can wear it, you know, with jeans. And then have I showed everything? Yeah, t-shirt, it goes with everything, including my tan trousers, but also black or blue jeans. And this blouse is, again, could go with almost any of those things. And then my hat, when I go hiking, this one has a ponytail holder and it is pink. It has a little strap here to make it tighter. And yeah, it'll be very breathable, as you can see the mesh, but provide a lot of sun and um, shade. All right, I think that's everything. Uh, I'm gonna try to insert photos in here so that you can see clearer. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll also try to show you how I fit it all in my suitcase. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like inside my suitcase after it's been packed with the items I, I was showing you earlier. Here you see a lot of my toiletries, which I have to zip up, but they're my toiletries and it's inside this like plasticish bag. So even if it spills out of these Ziploc bags, it should still be okay. This is a lot of my dry stuff, so a lot of my makeup, maybe some medication and some feminine products are in here. This is the main compartment. And right on top, which I'll put in last moment, is this dress by Sandro. I just have to cut off the tag. It's brand new. And um, yeah, so that one goes on top first. And I'm probably going to bring the hanger just because then that way I can, you know, I can hang it up when I get to my location. I brought an extra hanger in case I need to hang anything up and it's not available. Then the main compartments, mainly my shoes and bags. So you can see two of the handbags I was showing you are here. There's a pair of jeans tucked up in there, rolled up. And then this is my shirt. This is the skirt. This is the pair of jeans. And then here we have the tan trousers, the, the silk top, the blue merino wool sweater, the t-shirt, the blouse. Here is my blazer and underneath, are my jelly flat shoes and my other pair of shoes which I put in a baggie. Um, of, of course I did not put away the sneakers because I'm gonna wear that day when I travel and usually on most days that I travel and I will also ha not have my jacket, the North Face jacket as well as the long sleeve shirt as and also the leggings the hat i probably won't bring either so this is pretty empty I'm, i purposely did it this way you can see that there's still a ton of space and i generally probably pack it even more um i like to put things inside baggies like this so that if water gets in it it's not going to be too bad so i like to put all my but I, I obviously didn't do that so that you can see what it look what it would look like if i were to put it this way and this way if i go shopping i still have tons of space now, I still have not put anything in my Herschel backpack, which can also fit a ton. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I might try to bring... Oh, you know what I forgot to put in here yet? <laughs> Are my undergarments. So just say for, for, um, for you know, the video purposes, say this bag is full of my undergarments and that'll probably sit like right here as well. So yeah, uh, and then the skirt goes on top of this. But I still have tons of space. Like here, if I like pushed... I could fit more stuff right here. Here again, if I push, I could fit more stuff right there. So there, there is a lot of space. But I just wanted to show you everything of how it's gonna be laid out here. And yeah, so I know that if I checked this, I can also have a duffel. So if I bought a lot of stuff, for example, I went crazy, I could still have an extra duffel, which I'll probably roll up somewhere in the f and put it up in the, you know, in the front pocket here, just so that I have an extra duffel if I needed to check this bag. All right, so that is my basically tips on how to pack for two weeks but still have different looking outfits, I guess, if that matters to you. Um, otherwise, you know, just even if you didn't care about your different outfits, it's just nice to be able to do this. Again, like I said, you, you, you will have to think about what colors go with what, the weather and everything, but 
if you have a place where you could do your laundry, then this is obviously not as big of an issue. Or if you're staying in one location, again, this would not be an issue because then you can bring a bigger suitcase. But for me, since I am traveling to multiple places and not staying in one location, I like to have different outfits, different looking outfits, and I don't really have a place where I could do my laundry. This is kind of my solution. So. Again, hopefully you guys found this helpful. This is for, actually I didn't mention, for the location, it's about, I think, I wanna say like 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the low, and then it can go up to like mid 70s. So it does, it does have a range, and I think most of the time it's around 60s. So it's not terribly cold, but it is cold enough where you probably wanna wear, you have layers so that you could add to it if you needed it, so. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I guess I should mention the look, the things that I will be doing. I might do some hikes. I might go to like a club. I might go to a fancy dinner. I might go to maybe like a like a afternoon tea like thing. Some shopping, a lot of sightseeing. So those are like the kind of activities I'll be doing if that. <laughs> made sense with my outfits or not nothing too drastic so all of these things could go for it like my leggings could definitely be worn when i am hiking and then my skirts if i have you know a nicer dinner and yeah so hopefully it all works out i will be posting photos of my photos wait i'll be fo fo posting photos of the places i go to the food i eat on my instagram so if you want to follow me hopefully this video goes up before I leave but we'll see <laughs> it's been it's been kind of crazy getting the last bits of things going before I leave so I will insert my Instagram information here and also in the description bar below if you're interested in seeing the photos and then seeing these outfits that I just showed you you know in different locations not in my room <laughs> but otherwise yeah I hope you found it helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.